Over the past few years, I've been fortunate enough to get a lot of trigger time between the SCAR-16 and the SCAR-17. I really like both weapons. I really think they have potential in the future of small arms. Uh, maybe not in the American military, but in the history of small arms. Anyway, uh, today I want to talk about specifically the SCAR-17. Now, both are great, great guns. All right, I really, really like both. Um, but today, like I said, I want to talk specifically about the SCAR-17, okay, and this, uh, I'm going to try and keep it short, okay. Uh, nobody's really done a video on how to uh, run a SCAR-17. Now, it's very intuitive. Uh, you pick it up. It's not hard to pick up at all if you're familiar with the AR style weapons, okay. But uh, I just want to cover some things and put some information out there for maybe people who don't know. All right. So, loading is going to be just like just about any other magazine-fed firearm, all right. I'm going to bring the gun up to my workspace. Insert the 20 round magazine, give it a pull, make sure it's seated. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and chamber around. All right, notice I run the charging handle on the left side. You can run it either on the left or right, okay? I run it on the left because it's easier for me. I, if I want to, I can lock the bolt to the rear and uh, close the bolt with the same hand or lock the bolt with the same hand. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and chamber around just like that. And I'm going to do a chamber check. I see I have a round chambered. All right, so now. Let's talk about shooting the gun, okay? Now, the SCAR-17 obviously shoots the 7.62 by 51 NATO round. The trend lately with 5.56 guns has been very, very rapid shot placement. Four or five rounds in the same guy, shoot until the threat goes down. Okay, so this requires very rapid follow-up shots. Now with the SCAR-17, since you're shooting a bigger round, you don't necessarily have to do that. You only have to hit a guy once, maybe twice, okay? Now notice, the beautiful thing about the SCAR-17 is you can set it up in a variety of ways. You can run it as a precision rifle, you can run it as a battle rifle like I have set up here. Um, I think the ideal optic is an LCAN Spectre, okay? Uh, but anyway, going, going on. So let's talk about the tack reload. Cue it. 